Number 31. What are the mole fractions of HNO3 and water in a concentrated solution of nitric acid, which is 68.0% HNO3 by mass? Then we have to outline the steps necessary to answer the question, and then we must answer the question. All right, so we need to find the mole fractions, right? And we need to find the mole fractions of both HNO3 and water. Now, if we're trying to find the mole fraction, let's just post up the equation. The formula for mole fractions is this, where x is the um, unit for a mole fraction. So if you see x is being thrown around, especially with you know your concentrations, that's just a mole fraction. But just like any other fraction, right? A fraction is always a part divided by a whole. If you wanted to turn a fraction into a percent, you just times it by 100. But in this case, since we're just dealing with fractions, no 100 necessary. But still, it's just a part value divided by the total amount. Now for any compound that you're looking for, a mole fraction of HNO3 or water, it's those amount of moles on the numerator divided by the total number of moles in the whole entire solution. So still, it's part divided by whole. Now in this case, we want to find the mole fraction for both HNO3 and water, right? And water, we know, is H2O. So I'm going to have to do two of these, where one numerator is the HNO3 and the other one is the water. But the thing is, is that in order to do this formula, I need to find out the moles of each component. But the only thing that they gave me was that we have 68.0% HNO3 by mass. So the first thing, maybe I'll say for A, the first thing we have to do is to find out the moles of both HNO3 and um, the H2O. So maybe I'll put that down here on B, because now we're going to start, you know, doing the actual math. Now the only thing that they told, you know, told us was that we have a 68.0% HNO3 uh, solution by mass. And if something is by mass, that means that we're dealing with grams. But the formula for a percent, spe you know, specifically a percent by mass is always equal to a part over a whole times 100. Now this is just a little bit different because in this case it's going to be the grams of the compound divided by the total grams in the solution. But now they didn't specifically say how many grams of the HNO3 and how many total grams. So we have to come up with this assumption, or not really assumption, but we just have to plug in numbers for my numerator and denominator to make this idea work. Now, there's a couple of different ways to do this. What I like to do is I like to say, okay, I want to get rid of this times 100. What number in the denominator would I have to put that can cancel out the 100? Yeah, you got it, right? If I have 100 on the top, I'm going to have to put 100 on the bottom because 100 divided by 100 cancels out. So I can say that I have 68.0% equals, if that times 100 is in the formula, I can say that I have 100 total grams and that will cancel out the 100 and the 100. Now the only number that's left is 68.0. So what number needs to be on the top? Yeah, you got it, 68.0 grams. And if they're specifically saying that this is of HNO3, that gram of the specific compound is HNO3. So right off the bat, we know, oop, yeah, HNO3. We know that we have 68, or maybe I'll put this in red. We know that we have 68.0 grams of HNO3. 
But now the thing is, is that how many grams of water do we have? Well, we know that we just said that we had 100 grams of the whole entire solution. But there's two components of the solution. There's the HNO3, which is the solute, and the water, which is the solvent. But if I know that I have 100 grams total, because that's what a solution is, and 68 grams are going to the HNO3, and maybe I'll say that the total is HNO3 plus H2O, we can subtract these two numbers, and HNO3 will go bye-bye, and the remaining is the water. So what is this, 32? 32 grams of H2O, and that's my value that goes here, 32 grams of H2O. Now we still want to find out that mole fraction, so I still need to find out the moles, right? Find out the moles of both HNO3 and H2O. So I want to go from grams of HNO3 and grams of H2O to moles of HNO3 and moles of H2O. How do I go from grams to moles? That's back to basics, right? Grams of one thing, I just label it as A, to moles of another thing, we're going this way, all you have to do is just divide by the molar mass. So I have to find out what the molar mass is of HNO3. On the periodic table, I have 1H, so that's 1.008, plus one nitrogen, which is 14.01, plus three oxygens, which is 16. So 1.008 plus 14.01 plus three times 16. Uh, that looks good to me. So we get a mass of 63.018, and you're going to divide that by 63.018. Same thing you're going to do with the water. You have two hydrogens, so times that by 1.008, and then you have one oxygen, so that's a 16. Two, ooh, not three, two times 1.008 plus 16, you get 18.016, so I'm just going to divide that by 18.016. Okay, so for the first one, 68 divided by the 63 and I get 1.079 moles of HNO3. And then I have 32 grams, divide that by the 18. I get 1.776 moles of H2O. Okay, beautiful. Maybe I'll just move this a little bit down. Not that that's really going to do anything. But the second thing that we have to do now is Keep in mind, we now have the moles of each component, 1.079 moles of HNO3, 1.776 moles of H2O. I need to find out the total moles. So find out total moles. The total moles is of the whole entire solution. So I know that I have 1.079 moles of HNO3 plus 1.776 moles of the H2O. And that's your entire solution because those were the only two things that were in the solution, 1.776. So we get a 2.855 mole total. And now the last thing is to just plug into the formula. So, let's see, maybe I can scooch this up a little bit, and I'll put x equals, we got two of them, so x equals, and then x equals, this one will be for the HNO3, and then the other one will be for the water, for the HNO3, the moles of that compound we said was 1.079.
divided by the total moles, which is 2.855. And then for the water, I have 1.776 divided by the total amount, 2.855. And let's see what we get. Maybe what I can do is maybe move this up a little bit, move this down a little bit. There you go. So for X and X, HNO3 and H2O. Let's see. 1.079 divided by 2.855. Okay, so I get 0 0.378, that's one answer, and then 1.776 divided by 2.855, 0 0.622, and those are your two answers. So the mole fraction for HNO3 is 0.378. And the solvent, H2O, is 0.622. And since we've found out the mole fractions for both components and all the components of the solution, if you add up 0.378 and plus 0.622, you should get what number? It is 1, right? If you add up all the fractions, it should equal 1, right? Which is the same as 100%. So we did it correctly. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I look forward to helping you in more questions. Got tons of videos for you guys to just, you know, learn at your own pace. Um, we love helping you guys out. And I'm so glad that these videos are helping you guys. Thanks so much for the kind comments. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.